All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am stoked to finally be unboxing my first Canon L series lens of all time. Uh, this is the Canon 16 to 35 millimeter F 2.8 L Mark II USM lens. And I have been wanting this lens for quite a while. Just purchased it brand new for $1,500. And I am definitely ready to start using it. So we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing here. First thing we come to at the top. Got the warranty card, got the uh, software for the lens. I'm stick that to the side. Then we got the standard Canon L lens soft bag that goes with all their L lens, uh, L series lenses. Got the suede type of bag there. Not super protective for a $1,500 lens. You, you maybe you want to get something a little bit more substantial, but uh, nonetheless, leather bottom. All right. Next here, got the lens hood itself. Got the suede interior or whatever the uh, material you want to call it is. Very nice. I'm glad not have to pay for one of these after the hand because these things can be fairly spendy, especially for the OEM Canon uh, parts themselves. And then the lens itself. Oh, there she is. Very, very nice. Oh man, oh, that is smooth. So I have not been pampered with L-series lenses and uh, haven't quite felt what they feel like. And I can tell you the build quality, you can feel it immediately is amazing on these things compared to cheaper lenses. This thing is supposed to be fully uh, weather resistant, if you will. Uh, if you put a, a uh, filter on the end of it, um, then you can be outside in the rain uh, somewhat and be all right with it. Awesome. So I'm running into 5D Mark II and uh, this 16 to 35, I'm trying to get into some real estate photography and this is gonna be a great one for interior photographs of places. So again, this is the 16 to 35. It's the EF lens, obviously. F2.8, the constant aperture all the way through the zoom range. L series, version two, USM. And yes, very, very excited to start using it. So yeah, I've read a lot about this, these lenses and uh, it's kind of trying to make up my mind between the F4 and the F2.8, and there was a fairly substantial difference uh, in price, but I do, I live in Alaska, and I do some um, Aurora Borealis Northern Lights photos, and uh, at the F2.8, it's just going to be that much more light I can let in for the Auroras, so that'll be a, definitely, for me, it's worth the, the extra upgrade. If I'm going to do it, I just want to do it once and not have to uh, say, man, I wish I would have got the 2.8, you know? Awesome, thanks for watching my unboxing. I'm sorry to get all excited on you guys, but I am, I'm ready to start shooting with this thing and see what kind of image quality we can get out of my camera with my first pro quality lens. Thanks for watching.